Hello viewers and subscribers, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Jupiter Linked. Haka interview bala kot kerpang ya uba ardan. Dakawe ka YouTube channel Nagaru Hills. Kaba ay kerteng gis ni kni kurang. Tarangi pek ciki komen. Ngi yu i ya ki parlo garo bun ki bayaro ya uba ardan. Bad bun ki bat trang bat kawa ya ka VVP. Bakan don Hagaru Hills. Kane ka jing trang jong ki parlo garo ya ka VVP Hagaru Hills. Kalong hadin baki layok sengau ya ki jing temu bat ki rukum trekam jong ka VVP. Hadin ba ubar den presiden barang ba jong ka VVP. Kula pen sengau ya ki paj ba garo ling ba ka jingkren jong u hai YouTube. Kaba penlong ya ki parlo garo ba ki kwa ya ka VVP ha garo hills. Kalong namar ba ka VVP ka rading kong ya ki kambam sap. Namar ha garo hills ru ka don ka jingbam sap ka bajur. Ba ki parlo garo. Kila yu iru ya ka jingjob ka put jong ka VVP ha ka election MP ka baladeb. Namar ka jingkersyan rad ba jong ki paj ba kasi janti ya. Dai na kane ka dau, ba ki parlo garo ru ki kwa ia ka VVP ba kan don ha garo hills. Ha ba kren halor ka jeng penbet hama ia ka reservation policy. U ba arden ula ong ki parlo garo. Ba kim dai ban ia singo tu ba klala ne singo mong. Na mar na ka liang jong ka VVP. Kam kwa ban kini no ia ka hok jong ki garo. Nre ia ka reservation policy dai ban pa kat kum ka jeng bun pa. Na mar ki kasi jang tia ki kam bun pa ban ne ki garo. Na kata ka dau. Badon kam ban penbet hama ia ka reservation policy. Na mar ka don ka jeng no si liang ha ka rukum tung kam sorkar. Hap deng ki kasi janti ya bat ki garu. Tungi nasengap kendiat ya ka jengkren jong uba ardan. Haka interview bala kot kerpang da ka gis ni kni kurang. Kabadai ka YouTube channel na Garu Hills. The main objective of the boys of the people party, you know, is to eradicate or fight against corruption. Because we find that corruption is an enemy, you know, a serious enemy to human beings. You know? So it is the main impediment to growth and prosperity of the state. So which is why as a party, we have declared a war against corruption. Which means that corruption is one of the top most priority. And uh, our intention or obje objective is also to eradicate poverty from the state. And to fight against oppression. You know, we have seen that uh, people are being oppressed by the ruling class. Where the present dispensation... If you look at, you know, the way the present dispensation is working, you will see that they are only creating a class of people in the state. And uh, between the half and the half nuts. No. So, we have seen that the gap between the rich and and the poor is getting wider every day. So which is why we have made it clear that the boys of the people will fight against corruption, will eradicate poverty, so we keep on the educating the people about the stand of the party. And the emergence of uh, the Boys of the People Party is not driven by any personal interest to serve the purpose of one individual or a group of people. But it is purely for the benefit of the people of the state and the state as a whole. So, therefore, when you ask about where is Garu Hill stands in the Boys of the People Party, we would... Uh, take this opportunity to this channel to tell the people of Garo Hills that uh, the boys of the People Party 
is a state regional party. You know? And uh, we would like to have a politics of inclusiveness, where we will include every citizen of the state. There is no intention at all that the Boys of the People Party will confine only in Khasi Jainti region. But it is not also easy for us in one go to spread to every nook and corner of the state. So it will come in a phased manner where now we you know, in the beginning, we want to consolidate our position in Khasi Jantir regions. And uh, we must thank God that uh, we have really, you know, got the support of the people in that region. And the party is now looking, turning this eye towards uh, the Garvils region, where we feel that uh, we need to highlight the people of Garvils about the voice of the People Party, the ideology, and as leaders of the party, we had also decided to adopt the God's principle into our politics. So that is the difference between the voice of the People Party and all the established and existing parties that are there in Mikhalia. I ask you, uh, especially about Garuvis, because uh, in the past, from your from the issues that you raised and the kind of aggressions and passion that you showed to the people, uh, it was painted as a communal figure by many uh, groups. And me as a Garu, uh, who doesn't communicate much with those in Shillong or wherever, it's a very different kind of story that we hear most of the time. So, and DPP is taken as some kind of a regional party that is only uh, comfortable in Khasi and Jainta Hills. So now you coming to Garu Hills in itself is a shock to me and you coming here to this studio to clarify your uh, stance in itself is very positive. So how would you describe the kind of communal image that you have got till now? You see, in politics, you know, uh, there is a general perception uh, misperception in the minds of the people about politics. That in politics, people feel that they can do anything. They used to say, that, oh, in politics, you know, even the, an angel is working together with the devil. But that is not our kind of politics. We don't believe in that kind of politics, right? So, we know that we have been wrongly portrayed as a communal party just because, especially after we raise the issue of reservation policy, the need to review. We are a party with a difference, as I've said. And there are many agendas that we have mentioned in the election manifestos of the party, the election promises. So for us, Promises are promises. They are not empty promises. When we promise to the people to fight against corruption, we really mean it. So when we mention uh, the agendas in the manifesto, we really mean it. So what I feel is that our decision to take up this reservation policy issue should not be seen that we are against you know, the Garo people as a community. Because if you go through the resolution of this reservation policy, you will see that uh, in order to ensure, you know, and to provide adequate representation in the government job. So there's a need to have a policy between the two communities. And that policy needs to be based in terms of population. So we are not asking something that will take away the rights of the Garo people. We are only, you know, uh, addressing the problem we want to rectify. 
Because if you go according to that resolution, it speaks out clearly, you know, to provide adequate representation. That means in the administration or these two communities. But we have also to remember that we don't share equal number of population. We are not exactly equal, you know. Where the Kasi community, the, the population of the Kasi community is almost double than the population of the Garo community. So which is why we feel that this review needs to be done and that it has to be done in such a way, you know, with the population structure. That means it has to be proportionate. You will get your own right. We are not going to take away your right. And the Garu people, they should also understand, our oh, Garu brothers, that the reception policy is not the only factor, you know, that leads to the backwardness or to the present condition of the entire Garbils region. There are many other factors. Education. Because the voice of the people party wants to ensure the to ensure the overall development. And if you read our uh, vision statement, you'll find that uh, there was a mention in that booklet where we have circulated. When we talk about the resources of the state, we want to ensure that there has to, the, the resources of the state needs to be distributed equitably. You know? And uh, we want to ensure for a strong and decisive uh, uh, leadership. Then uh, we want to ensure for a peace and uh, you know, tranquility that needs to be prevailed in the state. So when you look closely at the manifesto, at the vision statement, you will come to know that this uh, attempt to paint the boys of the People Party as a communist party is only an attempt you know, that comes from our political opponent. You see, our political opponents, I strongly believe in Garwills, they must have seen the acceptance of the people in castles for the boys of the People Party. The people of castles they didn't support us because we stand against the Garos. But because we stand against corruption, against poverty, you know, and against the, the manner in which the government is indulged. Where the government has adopted policy which is not pro-people. The policy that is taking care only for their own people, which is why in the just concluded assembly election, I raised on the floor of the house that we have seen how this government work. They go by a policy, you scratch my back, I will scratch yours. So that means if you belong to the ruling party or ruling parties for that matter, you'll be taken care of. If you need to be rewarded for a contract work, you have to support the ruling party. So all these activities of the ruling parties made the people to taunt to the boys of the people party. So I feel that I should thank you once again for inviting me, you know, to this uh, channel so that we can have a platform to reach out to our Garo brothers and sisters. I even made a mention on the floor of the house that if I were as communal as those, I would not have chosen to associate myself with the Garo people since the late 80s. So sir, now like, let me stick a little bit with the, this reservation. Now I'll give you um, the counterpart that the normal people in Garoville are giving. Kasi Hills, especially from Shillong and Tura, had been geographically disconnected for such a long time. The routes through which you came today, this uh, through Joy, or through Nox Mine. Yeah, it was horrible. I still remember 
we going to uh, Shillong through this road because of some emergencies and it took us two days. And in this kind of geographical uh, disconnection, there have been so many instances, in fact, thousands and thousands of instances where Garus could not apply even for basic employment opportunities. And on the other hand, bureaucracy, officials, and all the high leaders are in Shillong, either it be Garus or the Kasis. Now, in this process, the representation of the Garus have never been given equal opportunity in the past. I have got so many friends uh, who did not get jobs just because they could not go to Shillong. Because going to Shillong in itself demands a hell lot of stress and at the same time financial. So now, if you look at demography, no doubt, Khasis are much, much more populated. But if you look at the conditions today, the Garus and the Khasis, Khasis are much, much more advanced. In fact, so much so that the Khasis have become kind of general category for the Garus. And we are in the real world lacking behind in so many ways. And there could be plenty of, ex uh, plenty of explanation. But then if we look at the Garus right now, don't you think that the reservation policy that was uh, given to us way back in the 70s is like fair enough or it should be even implemented more? You say you have to understand, uh, you have to understand, I said, we go by the spirit of the reception policy in order to ensure adequate representation, right? So, but as I've said, we don't share equal number in population. That has to be understood very clearly. And uh, despite the fact that a number is being given 40 is to 40, all along, yeah. the Garo people could not fill up that mm. 40. Yeah. They owned yes. uh, numbers. Yeah. Okay. So the question here is, why can't they fill up? Why can't they fill up? Because there are some other factors also mm. that contributed to the backwardness of yeah. Ngagri's free. Mm. You cannot uh, simply say that, no, we are lacking behind, we are remaining backward because of the reservation policy. I think you agree with yeah. that. So you should question your own leadership. When you look at the leadership of the state, when you compare the number of years, you know, you will find that most of those years after the completion of 50 years of existence, you'll find that most of those years the leadership for the state of Meghalaya comes from Garlis. Mm. So what have they done to the Garlis? Where is the development? And even today also, when you look at the examination the, in the education department like the diet, and even the matriculation, you'll find that you you can still find that there are some school with a zero pass percentage. Why? Is it because of reservation policy? Or is it because of the lack of quality education? So we need to concentrate on the overall development of the state. As you've said, road, infrastructure, education, health. So, we want that the voice of the People Party, when we, when we raise this issue, we also understand 